today is all about living a life beyond the stereotypes or expectations people, others, place on us. Now, when you take your car into the shop, you probably expect to see a certain type of person, let's be honest. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2022, the vast majority of people working in the automotive repair industry were men. men. In fact, women only made up 12% of that workforce. And our next guest is working to bridge that gap. Dina Estrada is an auto repair expert from Greenville, South Carolina. <laughs> and she is breaking down stereotypes all while giving her community a safe and inclusive space to get the job done. Take a look. Hi, I'm Dina. I may be on my city's 25 most beautiful people list, but there's more to me than meets the eye. I am also a professional in the auto mechanics industry, and I own my own shop. I work hard, I get my hands dirty, and I'm making strides in a male-dominated industry. My female customers come to me after they've had different experiences with mechanics where they've been overcharged just because they're females and they believe they don't know anything about cars. They tell me they feel more comfortable with me because we try and empower them with knowledge about their cars. Even though we're in 2023, I surprise people when I tell them I'm an auto shop owner. When they see me at the shop, little girls say, mom, she's just like me, but she can fix cars. I think women see me and feel they can do any kind of work too. I'm happy to be that type of inspiration for other women. I mean, this is real talk. You, I, I read where you talked about a woman coming in, a customer coming in. She was told she needed four tires at another place. She did not need those tires. They saw a woman coming at the other spot mm -hmm. and were planning on taking advantage. I think at the end of the day, you know, whenever we see women, we, we have a conception. Mm -hmm. um, and me as a female, you know, I get to live the life. I get to live the life of a female, what other people think of me and what other people perceive. You know, I get to have the end result. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, now on the business side, I actually get to twist that and say, no, let's empower you to make sure that you know when you need those yes. things. Not just wait for somebody else to tell you. I mean, that how you does that them. feel? Like, like she could have, I mean, tires are not cheap. And they are not. I, they I are not cheap. And, now a price and, tag. They, they, you, and somebody comes in and you save them from spending that money that they can then use on their family or any other thing. I agree. Nobody wants to be ripped off. So you are saving them from that experience. And at the same time, we want to empower them to yeah. make sure that if they do need something, that they are planning and preparing for those types yeah. of, you know, changes, updates, tune-ups. Right, that we know yeah. what we're looking for when we actually, go in. You so you're not just saying, okay, they, I'm saving you from being ripped off. I'm telling you for the next time what to look out for. You've been working on cars, interested in cars since you were nine years old. I, it all started with a struggle, but yeah. What? So, like, what was the experience? Because I remember my dad, again, we talked about earlier, he was like, you got to learn how to change a flat tire. At least. That's what he said. <laughs> but then I got my flat tire, and I was like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I remember funny. standing on the side of the road, like, what did he say? And I was like, please, somebody save me. Yeah. Uh, but this was your passion. You are trained. You were made for this. I think at the end of the day, we don't all, we don't all carry just one trait that we can use yeah. and that we can practice in life. We can do so many things in life. This is just one side of me that I get to not just practice, but also save myself some trouble. One of the things that I said when I was growing up, uh, you know, as my parents struggled and were immigrants and all these other things that kind of come out of my story, I said, one thing that I don't want to do is struggle with a car as I grow up. And as, as we become adults, and you all yeah. can agree, I mean, we have bills, we have life, everything gets in the way. And of course, we want to travel so <laughs> so um it, cars were definitely one way in which i could say you know at least i have that in my pocket yeah and i can move around you, I, I mean want. you work nine to five jobs you you you're a hustler you work hard i mean i went through my undergrad career yeah. i worked in nonprofit, and it was beautiful to be in that field because you get to help people directly yeah. but this is another way in which i can actually do that I and that. provide that resource for others because there are people that okay. are actually struggling out there, you know? Absolutely. And those are the reasons whenever we have the power to extend All our right. hand and say, Empower hey. us now. One car tip. that When we go in, what's the one thing we need to ask? Of course. Sounds good. Um, where are my levels at? Where are my levels? And then say it like you really know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then that. turn away and wait for their answer. <laughs> Dina, you are a rock star. I appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much you so for joining much. us and for what you do for your community. Shout out to everyone there, a jewel amongst those in your community. Thank you, Dina.